Hello, 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 YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Um, up early here in Detroit. Wasn't really sleepy. Uh, had some things on my mind. You know, that was some dirty mess that that driver did. Calling my company to get me terminated. And you know what? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the whole thing in trucking. I'm so tired of these trucking companies getting away with they bullshit and then you want to shit me down, terminate me for talking about the BS you've been doing. But yet they get on TV talking about we, we for change. Change is finna come. No, I am the change. I'm the one you need to be talking to. I'm on YouTube reporting stuff that shouldn't be going on in trucking. And that's for drivers to know about that shouldn't be going on in trucking. But instead of that driver, the idiot driver that decided to call Rising and Brothers and alert them to my video, what the fuck kind of driver is you? Instead of you being in support, recognizing what I said shouldn't be going on, if you was any kind of driver, you would have known that tire story was some BS yourself. But yet, you on my YouTube page, looking at my videos, then you decide to be the YouTube police and alert my company to my YouTube. It got me terminated. What kind of driver is you? I hope that never happened to you. I hope your company don't ever tell you something you ain't supposed to be doing. You get a ticket for it. You get in trouble for it. You get fired for it. And here I am making the videos that everybody else doing. What is it with these fleet companies that think who you think you are? You think you're going to recruit me with a lease where you got it worded to rip me off? Then on top of that, you're going to turn around and lie to me about a tire issue to try to set me up to get me a ticket. Because you thought I was stupid. Then I got people on YouTube making dumb comments. You know, I don't need comments from those idiot people that actually don't know what the hell going on. Evidently, you ain't been around long enough to know what the hell I'm talking about. If you don't know about gang stalking, don't say nothing. Don't be calling nobody no nut job. Don't be talking about they stupid. Because you stupid. Because if you do your research, you find out gang stalking do exist. They are doing what I say they're doing. Calling somebody paranoid and mental. You stupid. You ain't got no license to determine that. What you just said sounds more crazy than what I said. Here you is on my YouTube page commenting to something you don't even know about. I mean, these stupid people come out the woodwork. You get on my YouTube page and make dumb, stupid comments. Ain't nobody crazy. Where you get crazy from? Oh, I'm supposed to be crazy because I'm reporting something that's going on? Maybe you one of the ones doing the stuff. Because that's what y'all like to do. You like to do the stuff and then call people crazy. So maybe... Those three that came on my YouTube page with those dumb comments. And what's this VOM.GN.IN? Look, I ain't got time for that high school abbreviation text message. My dirty trucking page is for grown folks that know how to write. I ain't gonna be Googling, vomiting. What are you vomiting off of? There's nothing about my vomiting. You might as well went on to spell the damn word out. Somebody put on there vom.gen.in. Get off my page. It's your dumb ass. Who the hell want to read that? Like I said, if you're not contributing to the issues, got some insight on the issues, or something to prevent 
the issues, get off the page. Don't nobody need you on all those people on here talking that dumb mess. She a nut job and all that. You stupid. You the nut job. I'm 50. I done made all the money in the world. So I don't know what you talking about. I done been there and done that. You talking at me like I'm brand new out here. I'm at retirement stage. You better recognize who you talking to. You the one got to still work. I'm coming toward the end of my working session. While you talking that crap. But this message is for that driver. You an idiot. And now, the driver that sent me that message. I don't know if this is a driver or not. But you responded to my 34-hour reset in Mount Vernon YouTube video. There was a comment from a guy asking me, what company do I work for? That was that Sunday night. After responding, I'm at Reisinger Brothers. That Monday morning, I got a call from Reisinger's telling me a driver alerted me. Alerted them to my YouTube page. Talking about my videos was vulgar. No, it wasn't. They did my videos was vulgar. They wouldn't be on YouTube. If YouTube ain't saying it's vulgar, you damn ain't finna say it's vulgar. Now, what it is, you don't like nobody telling what's going on at your company. Well, I suggest you, I suggest you not do it. And I'm tired of fleet-owned companies doing people that's this color wrong. And then you want to terminate I'm tired of you abusing the at-will policy. You make up stuff to terminate. You do dirty trucking to terminate. You always want to shit somebody up. But, you, they, but they get on TV, vote for us. We for change. Now here I am trying to tell you something that's going on in the trucking industry. That they've been lying and they lying to drivers. Setting drivers up. And I got a dirty driver on my page set me up to get terminated. You idiot. I was lease purchase. I ain't no goddamn company driver. I was running a business. I had established an EIN number for that goddamn business. And you called my goddamn company and got me terminated. I'm sick of this shit. In trucking. If you ain't going to do nothing about it, then I'm not going to work for you. If you ain't going to do nothing about these complaints, then I'm going to stop telling you. Because I'll be damned if somebody going to call my job or willy-nilly alerting them like you the YouTube police. You so concerned about somebody talking about a company. If you was any kind of driver, you'd have stayed your ass out of it. What was you doing? What was you thinking? I sent a message to that person that sent me that comment asking, was he the one called my company? Now, don't be a coward. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid because you wasn't when you dialed a number to rising of brothers. Because your name went there in the comments and I left a comment for you. And I'm waiting on your response. I asked you directly, were you the driver that contacted my company and got me terminated? Everybody on here talking about that's messed up. No, that ain't messed up. That's fucked up. That a dumbass driver would do that. Then you got these other idiots on here trying to make it look like I'm a nut job. Ain't nobody a nut job. Uh, I'm 50 years old. Shut your ass up. And get off my page with your stupid ass. That old V-O-M-G shit. Get off my damn page. Better take that shit back to your goddamn high school. The next person get on my YouTube and cause me some damn problems. It's going to be some problems. It don't make no damn sense. I'm reporting stuff that's happening to me. Who the hell were you to call my damn company and try to make me look like I was a liar? They lied to me about that damn tire issue. You looking at my 34-hour reset I ain't said nothing out the way in no 34-hour reset video. But you asked me what company I work for. You dirty dog. 